Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. So about a year ago, I did a video on my five favorite traditional pattern knives. And um, these are the five knives that I came up with in that video. We had the uh, Barlow, the Canoe, the Equal End Pen Knife, the large or five inch toothpick, and then the uh, camp or scout knife. And at the end of that video, I said, will it change? Who knows? Well, it has changed. Now, also at the end of that video, I mentioned that um, these two were number one and two and they would go back and forth forever. Uh, because these are the two that I primarily collect, the uh, large toothpick and the uh, camp or scout knives. And these are the two that I mostly carry also. So um, you can uh, rest assured that these two are still uh, right up there as my two favorite uh, traditional pattern knives. So that did not change much, but a new knife has crept into uh, my favorite uh, my top five favorite traditional pattern knives, which means one of these three is going to be going out. And what knife happened to creep in? Well, that would have been the Stockman. Um, I just realized that I've been collecting a lot of Stockmans and uh, I was collecting a lot of Stockmans even before I came up with that uh, top five list. And uh, I, passed on the Stockman because as I did another video, the Stockman knife is more of a family of knives. But then the more I thought of it, so is the Barlow, so is the Scout knife, and so are toothpicks. They're all a part of a family of knives. And I just happened to pick one member of that family as my uh, favorite knife within that family. So the Stockman basically wins out over one of the uh, other three knives. And uh, that's why um, I have to make a confession. I just made a bad choice last time. Um, I like the Stockman better than one of these other three knives. Uh, in spite of the uh, little spade blade, which I've grown used to. I'm glad it's not the same spade blade that you find on a trapper. I like the size of the spade blade on here. I find it very useful and uh, you know, at least in this size for uh, some of my cutting chores, but also the fact that the spay blade is not always the uh, secondary blade that you find on there. There's plenty of them that have a pin blade or a punch. And actually the Stockman's I prefer most of all are ones that have a punch instead of a spay blade because I like the punch on there, um, similar to the punch that you find on a lot of um, of uh, scout knives. I like uh, a punch blade. I use it quite often. And I also like the sheep foot blade. That's one of the reasons I like the Stockman because I like the push blade on a sheep foot blade. And then the options of usually the clip or the, uh, um, the uh, spear blade. This is a clip obviously. And if you notice, some of those spade blades aren't too bad. I like the shape of that spade blade there. I don't even think it's really much of a spade blade an old timer and that's a pin blade on this end. I would have rather had this been a sheep foot blade. I could always modify it to be one but I wouldn't because of this knife. So the Stockman won out and one of the other reasons that the Stockman wins out is because uh, this is one that was used during World War II by the Army Air Force and that that's one of the reasons why uh, you know the more I thought about it the more I'd rather, much rather have the Stockman, and it's got such a history behind it. Um, and that's something else. Now now you hear people calling these stock knives, and people go, oh, why are they becoming so, um, you know, um, they're, they're talking about it being gender neutral and stuff. But that's not at all the case. Um, 
uh, way back in the 1930s and 40s, uh, Camillus actually called their stockman knives stock knives, and they were still calling them that in the 50s and such. So um, calling it a stock knife is actually something that used to be done quite often. It wasn't always called a stockman, and everyone had different names for them also. Uh, I think this was called a middleman jack by, uh, by Schrade a long time ago in their old-timer line. So different names for them and everything. Um, I like the equal end stockmans better. This is one by Case, and I really like this one. This is one that uh, really started changing my mind about the Stockman. And when this one shows up, then uh, it really just uh, said, you know what? You made a mistake. Own up to it. Um, your top five favorite have definitely changed. And every knife that you're seeing here are USA-made knives. Uh, this doesn't even include the ones that were made by Rough Rider and stuff like that. And... As you can see, I've got quite a few stockmans. Matter of fact, when it comes to USA made knives, uh, after you get past the camp knives, which number uh, the, the most prolific in my collection, the next up in USA made knives are toothpicks. And following that, it's the stockmans. And so it's hard for me not to say that the stockman is not one of my favorites to collect and also use so that's why uh, I had to redo this video but as you can only have five in your top five that means one of these three knives has got to go because no matter how hard you try you can't shove six knives into five so we've got the camp knife the large toothpick and uh, the stockman one, two, three, and now who has got to go? And I know a lot of people would immediately say, well, get rid of the equal and pen knife. But um, after these three, I probably have more USA made uh, equal and pen knives than any other uh, uh, pattern out there because I really do like collecting these. I think they're quite nice. They're a nice size uh, to collect also. They're small. They don't take up a lot of space. I like uh, the history behind them and everything else. And I especially like the ones with the metal scales with the uh, designs on it. And basically, if I had to choose between these three knives, um, this Barlow, which is my favorite Barlow, USA made Barlow, um, this is my uh, favorite USA made canoe. I would take this over either of these two knives. I know a lot of other people wouldn't. Oh, by the way, this is made by Boker in Germany. So this is, of all the knives that were shown, this is the only one that is made in Germany. But I have plenty of uh, USA made uh, equal end knives. But um, while this knife costs less than both of these knives, I would still take this one over these two. So. Equal and pin knives, I really like collecting, and I and I have got quite a few of them, so that's not going anywhere. That's really like, that even goes before the Stockman. So now we're down to these two knives, Canoe or Barlow. Which one should I keep? Now, this is the year of the Barlow, thanks to Case pulling it out of its uh, vault. But even before Case pulled it out of its vault, um, I've been collecting Barlow's. But I've also been collecting canoes. Uh, so which way to go with it? And here's the deal. This is like one of 10 or 11 USA made Barlow's that I have. I mentioned this is my favorite one. Uh, that's because of the blade choices on there. I like the uh, spear blade and the secondary Warncliffe blade. Um, but there are several other Barlows in my collection that I'd hate to give up. This, like I mentioned, is my favorite USA made canoe. It's also my only USA made canoe. Every other canoe I bought uh, was basically in the Rough Rider line or in some other line that was made in uh, China. I have not invested any money in USA made canoes and that just came to me recently that 
you know what you're you're saying it's one of your favorite uh, patterns then why haven't you been collecting any other USA made canoes and it got me thinking and it really is kind of uh, interesting I, I like the pattern and everything but I don't like it enough to actually invest money into buying other USA made canoes so how can it really be one of my top five favorites? Maybe it's in my top ten. You know, it beats out the lady's leg and the trapper and a couple other knives. Uh, the hawkbill, the uh, cotton sampler, things like that. I'd much rather have a canoe than any of those. But uh, I'm not sure if I would rather have a canoe than an electrician knife. Uh, so it really is hard to say that it should be in my top five. So that's the one that's out now. Uh, so now, this is my current top five favorites, and these are the five that I tend to collect the most also. Um, the uh, the camp knife or the uh, scout knife, that's right up there, either number one or two. Followed by the large toothpick, the five-inch toothpick. These are almost neck and neck in, uh, in numbers of USA made that I have or quality made ones from overseas, non-China, let's put it that way, non-China, non non-Pakistani. Um, but uh, I think I like the uh, equal end pen knives slightly more than the stock knives or stockmans. And then uh, the Barlow. And I got a lot of Barlows uh, right up there, almost right behind um, the stockman in USA made production. I've got even more uh, made in China and stuff through Rough Rider, but uh, to be honest with you, I like the um, the square bolster that you find on uh, on this one much better than the rounded teardrop bolsters you find on the Rough Rider ones. Um, and so there it is. There's my new favorite five patterns that I not only collect but carry. Sorry, canoe fans, it just lost out to the stock knife or stockman. But on the other hand, the canoe is an equal end pen knife, so it's kind of like a brother to the other pen knives that I collect. So uh, I can have fond memories of it and think of it as an equal end pen knife because it is in that family. As for the stockman that I've started carrying, it's right here. I like this uh, one by Primble. It's, it's made in China. It's got a nice slim blade here going on. And then um, the secondary blade is more or less supposed to be a uh, spade blade, but it's almost a pin type blade. So it's really like a, a spear kind of blade. And then the other blade that it has on it is a punch. Like I mentioned, I really like a uh, Stockman with a punch blade. And this is the one that I've uh, started throwing in my pocket along with a toothpick and uh, and uh, my Spyderco and uh, uh, my uh, Swiss Army knife. I carry an Explorer all the time also. But uh, I also will be carrying this one on special occasions. It's by Case. This one is, uh, has a black synthetic handle. And I also like to carry this one or this one for special occasions for like uh, weddings, funerals, uh, church, things of that nature. So that one gets the ride around for uh, special uh, occasions and for, you know, any kind of you know, family gathering and such. But if I expect to be using it for any kind of rough use uh, during that special occasion, then I'll be carrying the black synthetic. But for day to day, this made in China one with the punch blade is pretty good. So there you have it. That's where I'm at. That's where the stockman showed up um, and knocked off the canoe. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.